praise you today. Uh, yes, we're excited, we're grateful, and we are thankful. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're preparing to start our broadcast. Amen. We're preparing to start service this morning. How many know that God is greatly to be praised? Amen. Hallelujah. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the highest praise. And we come to lift up the name of Jesus on today. Hallelujah. For if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would I be? Hallelujah. I bless God that I'm not by myself when I say thank you, Lord, for one more day. Yes, God. I could have been dead. Hallelujah. Should have been. If you look at the track record in the name of Jesus, think it in my grave. But because of his grace and because of his mercy, here we are today to give God the glory. Oh, I serve a risen Savior. Yes, God, he's not dead. He is alive. So let's begin to worship him with the words of hallelujah. Give God the praise from your lips, out of your belly, hallelujah. Give God the praise, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says we should not forsake the assembly of the brethren, hallelujah. We should come together and lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, so just prepare your heart, prepare your mind for a hallelujah, for a hallelujah experience. I come with a praise today, Lord. I come to lift up your name today, God. We come to worship you. And you help us sing, congregation. Welcome. 
welcome will now be by our very own Nurse Lisa. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop lifting him up. Don't stop giving him glory. Say yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. I'm trying to let it go, but yeah. Jesus Christ. Keep coming back. We love you over here. Come and enjoy the Lord with us on today. In Jesus' name. You have won the victory. Let it meditate in your hearts. Hallelujah. We thank you today, God. We thank you, God, that death could not hold you down. We thank you that no sickness or disease, no trials or tribulation could ever overturn your victory. And all God's people said amen. Come on, give God the hallelujah that he deserves. Hallelujah. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Yes, he does. Who could snatch you out of the enemy's hand? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody but a risen Savior. He overcame death. Yes, he did. Oh, death, where is your sting? Did he not? Did he not let nothing separate us from the love of Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to have our scripture. Hallelujah. By Reverend Bobby Wallace, followed by, uh, by Serena Wallace. Amen. By Sister Serena Wallace, followed by, amen. Give a God a hand clap of praise for our youth. Amen. This is Women's Day. Amen. And we're celebrating God as she's going into womanhood. Hallelujah. That she would be able to tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus and how he brought her over, how he brought her through. And in spite of what was going on, God made a way. Did he make a way? Come on. When he made a way. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the Lord as she does scripture and followed by mother with Mother Day and prayer. Amen. Um, I will be reading from Proverbs 31, 25. She maketh fine line and selleth. I'm sorry. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and her tongue is, is the law of kindness. She looketh well to ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of, of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, also her husband. And the praises of her, may her daughters have done virtuously, but though excellent them are favor and deceitful 
beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord shall be praised. Give her all of the fruit of her hands and let her own work praise her in the gates.
Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let's celebrate God and you, as you have your seat. Amen. As Mother Day has prayed from her belly. Hallelujah. Reaching straight to heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. And at this time, amen, we are testifying, church. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for the words of the testimony. For the Bible says, Revelations 12. That's right, Pastor. We overcome. I'm in a room with some overcomers. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. How many know that if it had not been for the blood, you wouldn't have a testimony? But because of the blood, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still here. Yeah. Woo. I got the Holy Ghost. I, and I got a case of a I can't help it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sister Wallace, Bobby Wallace, minister, come on and testify. Help us today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on and be a witness. You a witness for Jesus. I don't need but just maybe one or two. Amen. That's all I need.
listen, I wouldn't serve a God that I couldn't feel sometimes. Thank you, 
Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I feel like somebody already got a breakthrough. And they're testifying right now in the spirit. God has already done it. Somebody say, it's already all right. It's already all right. It's already all right. Yes, it is. God then made it all right. Yes, he has. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord, that we can assemble together and lift up your name and give you glory. Hallelujah. And we come to the time, amen, where our speaker will be gracing this sacred pulpit. But before she does, amen, we're going to have a sound of music, amen, from our very own evangelist, Yolanda Ferguson, amen. And after her, Reverend Bobby Wallace will introduce our speaker, amen. So we pray that you prepare your hearts and you prepare your minds for the word of the Lord on today. In the name of Jesus, Evangelist Ferguson, as she come, amen and all. Oh, way. hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you, God, for another opportunity to come before your throne of grace, God. Allow Yolanda to decrease so that you can increase, God. You sit high and you look low. You're looking at your people and you say, those are my children. They are worshiping me, not because of what I've done, but because of who I am to them. This is personal, y'all. You got to get in your secret place, the secret place of the Most High God, and he will protect you. He will cover you under the shadow of his wings, and we will say, holy to the Lamb of God. Holy to the Lamb of God, we lift you up. When the saints get on one accord, every trap, the enemy has set shall be defeated because God is sitting on the throne and he's watching his children and he's saying holy, holy come unto me all ye that's heavy laden and burdened down and I'll give you rest oh yes God we thank you Lord for this morning Oh, yes, God, we bless your name, God. We lift you up. We worship you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we invite your presence, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, our provider, our protector, our man regulator, our heart fixer. We just thank you, God. Hallelujah. We worship you today, not for our own goodness, but because you are good, God. You are good unto us. Oh, hallelujah. We bless your name on this morning. Thank you. said before your people won't work.
to move, do what you want to do. You sit high and look low. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and our light unto our path, God. When we don't understand which way to go, God, you are there. You are there tugging at your people. You are there saying, just call on me. I'm there waiting on you. Call on me. And I hear and I answer my children, what's taking y'all so long? Y'all not calling me. I am here. I'm knocking at your heart. I'm tugging at your heart. I'm tugging at your heart. I am tugging at your heart. I know that you don't have it all together. I know that you don't have it all together. But trust me, I'm going to make you what I want you to be. I'm going to make you what I want you to be. Not your will be done, but thy will shall be done in your life. Get it together. You are the righteousness of God. Get it together. You have a chosen priesthood and a royal nation. Get it together. I have chosen you for such a time as this. Get it together. Get it together. You may stray away, but I said, come unto me, all ye that's heavy laden and burned down. And I shall give you rest. I don't care what nobody have told you this day. I am your father. I am your father. I chose you when you didn't see a way before the foundation of the world. I chose you in the mother's womb. I picked you out. I know that you was going to mess up. Get back in line. Get back in line and do what I tell you to do. It's not your will. It's my will. You are filthy rags in my sight, but I have chose you. I have chose you to help someone else. They are looking at you. They are looking at you. Show them the love of God. Show them what I have taught you. Show them that you are just like them and you are no better. Show them who I am. The love of God has spread and abroad across the nation. Show them when you're walking down the street who I am. Show them through your smile. Show them through your words of encouragement. Show them through my talk. Not because you got a bumper stick on your car, because they watching you. And if you got a bumper stick and you're not doing what thus says the Lord, you're going to be shamed. I don't want you shame. I want you to say what thus says the Lord. Even when it don't look right in the sight of people, call them people out of hell because they going to hell if they don't call on me, if they don't trust in Jesus Christ. So God is calling every person that's listening to this broadcast, every person that's standing here in the sanctuary, Get it right because you are the righteousness of God. Not because your own holiness, but because of my holiness. I bled and I, I died for you. Get it right. Come out from among them because that's not where you're supposed to be. Get it right. Get it right in the name of Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge me and I direct your prayer. I will clean you up. I will clean your heart. I will make you up, give you a heart of flesh instead of your heart of stone. Trust me. Look to the hills from which cometh your help, because all oh, your help come from the Lord. Get back in line, man of God. Get back in line, woman of God. Get in line, children of God, says the Lord, because I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you to do what I want you to do. I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a chance. And when I come back, nobody knows the day or the hour when I come back. I'm going to come back like a thief in the night. And when I come back, I'm going to see who's I'm mine. And I know 
know whose I'm at because they do the will of my Father. I'm trusting in you to do the right thing because I chose you. You didn't choose me. I chose you. I chose you, so I'm standing there and I'm knocking. I'm knocking on your heart. I'm knocking on your heart to tell you to come unto me. I'm giving you a chance because when I come back, I'm coming back with the sword. I'm telling you right now, I'm giving you a chance. You got everything that's around you that's coming. And they coming to you, getting you to know my son, which is Jesus. They get, giving you a chance to know my son, which is Jesus. You need to trust on him and believe by confessing. You need to trust, confess with your mouth, and believe with your heart that you will be saved. Once you do that, once you do that, you still got consequences that you have to deal with because of your wrongdoing. I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to dust your knees off and say, come on. But in the end, you still got to do the work. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. I trust you. Hallelujah. Oh, I Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path in the name of Jesus. They used to travel across state lines to minister to me and my husband. They would come from one state to the other and say, God told me to tell you this. And they didn't hesitate. They didn't bite their tongue. They did it. And I thank and praise God for her being in my life for over 30 plus years. I thank and praise her for being my sister-in-law who always been there to pray for me and my family. I'm going to introduce to some and present to others Evangelist LaShawn Burks. You're going to live to see it happen. How many believe that? Yeah. You're going to live to see it happen. I say you're going to live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. How many are you going to live on today? Live, 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 live. I say you're going to live to see it happen. I say you're going to live to see do you believe that on today? You're gonna live. How do you know I'm prophesied to see it happen? Live, 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 live. Come on, help me say it. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Come on, put your hands together and just begin to praise God. You're gonna live to see it happen. Come on, y'all, help me say it on today. You're gonna live to see it happen. You're gonna live, see it happen. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. You're gonna live to see it happen. Do you believe that on today? You're gonna live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 Put your hands together. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 No matter what the doctor said, come on. Live, 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 live. No matter how you feel in your body. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Live, 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 live. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Come on, put your Hallelujah. hands together. Live, live, That's live, one of my favorite. That's it. Woman. I tell you, sometimes I put it on in the car. And I say, Holy Ghost, you got to hold up now. Because I got to keep my mind on the road. But I tell you, I begin to hear that song. And they say, you're going to live and not die. And I say, Lord, that's for me. I don't know about y'all on today, but that's for me. I shall live and not die. Yeah. I shall walk in it. I'm going to talk in it. Yeah. I'm, and let me tell you something. I'm not going to be like, you know, something that happened where you get to the border and you see it. No, I'm going to walk on in it. I'm going to be able to shout in it. I'm going to drive it. And I'm going to bag it back up. Come on, give God a hand and pray. Live, live, live. That's not my message, but that's my encouragement. Sometimes people need a word, and I'm prophesying. You shall live and not die. I say you shall live and not die. Because we serve a God that sits high, and he looks low. And I tell you, he watches out for his people. You know, we just coming somewhat out of a pandemic. And a lot of to a lot of us, we thought we was going to expire. We thought we was going to check out. But I tell you, live, 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 live. Woo, come on, give God a hand pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brings back to an old song. What's his name? 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 Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. 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 Who's the lily of the valley? Jesus. Who's that bright Jesus. morning star? Jesus. 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 Help me call him. Jesus. Help me call him. Come on, y'all. Help me call him. Jesus. Help me call him. Jesus. Help me call him. Jesus, 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How many saints I got in the house on today? I tell you something about the name of Jesus. Something that makes you feel real good. Hallelujah! We're gonna get ready and go into the Word. I'm not gonna be long. Yeah, God. Amen. I come to bless. The men and women of God. Amen. I come to give God's word. Amen. Not as unto men, but as unto from God. And that's how I want you to receive it on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. We praise God for this very fine pastor. Amen. Pastor J. Sean Hill. Amen. We thank God for, I believe his name is Pastor Stevens. Pastor Roberts. I don't know why I want to change his name. Lord, forgive me. Pastor Robbins, we thank God for this congregation. We thank God for this opportunity. And we're going to ask you to focus your mind very briefly. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. Because we shall live and not die. Because your word has said it. And you said before it come back void. Amen. That you will perform every word. And I heard a songwriter say, before I take it back, I'll add more to it. And we thank you, God, for the increase. We thank you, God, for the increase of our faith and our understanding and our knowledge. And we ask you to bless those that hear this word. And God, don't let it fall on stony ground. But let it, God, take root and let it sprout up in somebody's life. Because somebody needs you on today. Somebody needs to know that God is still in the blessing business. Somebody needs to know in the higher power that there is a God that's ruling everything. He's still in control. And we thank you, Father. Let every heart say amen. Amen. We praise God. Amen. I bring you greetings from the Miracle Revival Community Church where my fine pastor, Apostle Joe Marshall, our pastor is Prophetess Marshall. Amen. I thank God. Amen. For being here. Amen. I am uh, Evangelist Sean Wallace Burks. I thank God for my husband. Amen. God blessed him to travel and make it safe. I thank God for that. Amen. Because I know he's able. I thank God. Amen. For this ministry. Come on. Give him all the hands. 
Many are being blessed by this ministry. I thank God for the opportunity to be a part of the blessing. I thank God, amen, for my sister-in-law and those beautiful words. Thank you. Amen. And it's a big, it's a long story behind that, but one day we'll get ready to tell it. And amen. And you all will be glad to hear. Amen. Because I tell you, amen, they, um, <clears throat> my best friend, she doesn't live in Chicago anymore. She lives in um, Ohio. And at one point in time, amen, it looked like every day, Pastor, every other day, I was hitting that highway 94 going straight to Milwaukee. I tell you, and I, I guess my brother in his, you know, in his hysterical or whatever, he, he, he said it to be funny, but it came to be true. He named us the Soul Patrol, amen, because we were coming out, we, we weren't letting the devil hide them, amen. Sometimes you got to drive to get folks. Come on now. Come on, get the Lord of hands. We're going to get ready to get in the word of God. I just wanted to let you know that God is still in the blessing building. He is the head of my life. And I am saved and sanctified. Bubbling and all was filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. I thank him for it. Amen. And we want to just talk to your hearts on today. Amen. Because we're living in a time of the world that's like unhinged. You know? And like things are just chaos is on every hand. But I come to encourage the men and women of God on today. Um, we're going to do a few scriptures, amen. We're going to go to Matthews, the 24th chapter. I'll be reading um, the 3rd through the 8th verse. We'll be looking at Nehemiah, the ninth chapter, the 19th verse, and the 21st verse. We'll be referencing from Psalms 33 and 18 and 2 Corinthians 11, 14 through 15. So just keep up with me because I'm going on and I'm allowing God to have his way. And we just thank God, amen, again, to stand before and expound on the word of God before his people. Today, the world, of, <clears throat> the world, the devil has been on the rampage all over this land. And we're not giving him no credit. We're just stating the fact. And the saints, he's been giving the saints a hard time. He's been hitting the saints Come on, saints. Y'all act like I ain't talking to y'all. Now, if the word found, you say, either say ouch or amen. So the enemy is hitting hard and heavy because he knows his time is limited. And it has gotten so that your own house is no longer safe. You know, and, uh, and I'm not a, uh, uh, being the sister of Demetrius Wallace, you can't be afraid. Because when we were growing up, I stayed in trouble because he would talk me on roofs and all kind of stuff. And because I was older, my mom said, I should have had the sense. But, you know, it, whatever he was talking about seemed like a lot of fun at that time. So it is getting to the place where it's no longer safe. We don't feel safe anymore. And the enemy has caused us, now even myself, when I, I, I keep my car on full and I don't go to certain gas stations, I just, I just wait, okay? And then sometimes my husband gets in the car and be like, why you ask, excuse you, my car, thank you. So the thing is, you're not feeling comfortable. You know, the Bible tells us to watch as well as pray. And we know that the enemy has come to attack the mind in the very intellect of the saints. And... What we, what I come to do is to encourage you on tonight. In the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, beginning at the ver third verse, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming? And of the end of the world. I'm going to serve notice, y'all, y'all, we ain't at the end. But this was just the disciples having a conversation with Jesus. And Jesus began to say in the fourth verse, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Are we in the biggest time of deception or what? And we as being the saints, we have to keep our antenna sharp. Because the enemy is conning 
and stop letting them tell you the world ain't got nothing to offer. The world got a whole lot to offer. Just know that the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life. So just know that if you go to that side, you're going to get paid, but it ain't going to be like what you want it to be. Uh-huh. So he says in the fifth verse, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Uh-huh. And shall deceive many. We see that today. For many, and the sixth verse say, and ye shall hear the, ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. I win wars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Over in the east, they cutting up. Big time. I was, my girlfriend, I say now, if in the Palestinian world, if it sound anything like the 4th of July, did y'all hear all that stuff on the 4th of July? I say, if I had to listen to this every day, I would probably lose it. But you got folks living in that type of chaos every day. Come on, give the Lord a hand and pray. So make sure you put a prayer out for them. And shall hear rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. God encourages. He say, don't be troubled. I got your back. For all these things, you're for all these things must come to pass. The word of God is our roadmap from here to glory. And every word that's in the Bible shall come to pass. Because God is not marked. He can't tell lies. I'm going to move right on. That's another message. Okay. Things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, the end is not yet. Come on, give God a hand praise. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The seventh verse says, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and divers place. Building just fell down to Florida. Just fell down. Hallelujah. Eight verse. Now I like the eight verse. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Who those sorrows is for? Not for the saints. Come on, y'all. You got to get it right. In the Bible, it talks about times when deaf angels came over the land. How many of you know we got a deaf? We got a show enough, show enough deaf age on this land now. And in the Bible, it talks about God gave Moses the word and told the, um, the children of, uh, uh, when they was in Egypt, he says, take the blood and cover your doorposts. How many of you cover your doorposts with the blood? How many of you cover yourself with the blood? See, we got weapons that God has given us to fight against the enemy. But if you don't apply those weapons, how many of you know you'll get caught up with the rest? Come on, saints. You'll get caught up with the rest. The Bible talks about, you know, apply, um, to pray the blood over your doorposts. Plead the blood over your children. Plead the blood over every situation so that when the enemy comes, he going to see it. He gonna be, can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't touch that. Some say can't touch this. Hallelujah. I'm getting on down to my point, y'all. I want to encourage you on today. And my topic for today is God is our sustainer. Come on, clap your hands. Turn to the neighbor and say, God will sustain you in times of trouble. Come on, get the Lord a hand and pray. He's a sustainer. In the book of Nehemiah, let me show you some proof. Nehemiah, the ninth chapter, in the 19th verse, it says, Yet though in thy manifold mercies forsookest them not. Woo! I'm going to read that again. Yet there in the manifold mercies forsook is them. Now, who is them? The people of God. That's you, living saved, living righteous, serving the Lord with all your heart. 
forsook them not in the wilderness. Sometimes you feel like you're out there all by yourself. Look like everything is against you. You con- you're even, and if you ain't careful, if you don't cover your mind, you'll conjure up some stuff. Come on. A pillar. Now listen, listen, go to this scripture. I want you to read this with me. Nehemiah, the ninth chapter. I'm almost done. In the 19th verse and the 21st ch- um, verse. Because I want you to see and be encouraged. Yet though in the manifold mercies forsook them not. In the wilderness, God will not forsake you. Know that the enemy comes to say that God ain't thinking about you. God ain't caring about you. Why are you going through this? And why this happened to you? Because the Bible says that testers and trials come whoo, to make us strong. Maybe you need to come up in the area. Maybe you need some love tuning. Maybe you need some faith adjusting. Come on, give God some glory. Hi, glory. And the pillar, so listen, listen what he did. I want you to listen and look at what God did. It says, the pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day. God gave us the Holy Spirit for those of us that's guided and held on to it. It gives you the power of discernment. It gives you the power to call those things that are not to come to it. Ooh, ha, ba, ba. Somebody going to get this word tomorrow, but that's all right. It says, the pillar of cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way. God gave us the word of God. And what does it lead us, Pastor? It says, it's a lie unto our what? Woo! And we stick with the word. We're going to make it, y'all. It's when you start going sideways. That's when you get in trouble. Ha, ha. And it says, I'm trying to get past, it says, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them light. God is your light. The Bible says he is the light of the world. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. And the way wherein they should go, the 20th verse, thou grievest also, thou gavest also thy good spirit to instruct them. Why haven't we paid attention to the instructions of God? The Bible say, pray without ceasing. The Bible say, seek ye first the kingdom of God. The Bible say, if you call on me, I will answer your prayer. Not seek what man can do. Not seek out what you think you can do. Because every time we go to do something, we mess it up. Let me tell you about a little story I heard, and then I'm going to move on. You know, it's a story I heard a long time ago, and I kind of kept up with it because it It'll make sense to some of you all. It says one day the devil, the man was walking the road, and the devil was sitting on the road crying. Okay? Just a pair of, just a little something. And he asked the devil, say, why you crying? He said, because them saints keep lying on me. <laughs> he say, it's like, the saints keep lying on you. How the saints keep lying on you? He said, you're the father of lies. How the saints... Say, don't saints keep lying on me. He say, well, well, how is they lying on you? He say, always sin, the devil made them do this, and the devil made them do that, and the devil caused this to happen, and the devil caused, I say, but you do cause, and the man say, no, you do cause a lot of things. He say, yeah, but when it comes to the saints, God got a hedge around them. Somebody going to catch that. He said, God got a hedge around them, and I can't touch them. But every now and again, they jump over the fence. Woo! Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Then they blame it on the devil. Come on, y'all. Come on. God is our sustainer. As long as you stand on the path and believe in God, I want to encourage God's people, no matter what you're going through, no matter what illness is in your body. That's why I sing that song, You Shall Live and Not Die. Hallelujah, because God is a sustainer of his people. Woo, how about I see? Glory, glory, glory. He said he gave them instructions, so make sure you follow the instructions. And let me tell y'all something. Stop thinking on all this crazy stuff. 
The Bible said, think on those things that bring good pleasure, that brings joy, that brings peace. Oh, I just wondering what it, don't worry about what it's doing. Stop checking stuff you ain't got no business checking. Tell God to cover your mind and cover your heart because this is an individual race. Hi. He's a sustainer. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. He says, and with not manna from thy mouth. God, we got so many food stamps, we don't even know what to do. For those of us that get it, I walked in the store, the man said, baby, what you, what you, what you buying your food with? He said, I got a card. I said, me too, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then withhold manna. Now, I just want to see, show you how God will sustain you. Okay? This is word. I'm not talking nothing out of my head. This is in God's word. He said, and shown the light, and neither, hold on, let me get back where I was, okay. And uh, manna from their mouth, and gave us them water for their thirst. Some folk got so much water stacked up in their house. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. The Bible says, if you thirst for righteousness, he will. He will. What you thirsting for? What you thirsting for? He said, I got you. He better than Mountain Dew and Sprite. Hey, he'll quench your thirst and you'll never thirst again. For all you thirsty folks out there, drink on Jesus. <laughs> Come on, get God. He's our sustainer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The 21st verse. <laughs> hey. Now listen to this. I want you to listen to this, and I want you to internalize. It says the 21st verse. I'm still in Nehemiah, the ninth chapter. The 19th verse. It says, yay, 40 years. Mm. We only been in the pandemic two years. And we about to pass out. We done gave up on God. We won't come to church no more. We don't do what God told us to do. It's just been two years. Two years. The enemy have taken over 30 and 40 years of your salvation and in two years have caused you to doubt God. I'm talking to somebody. Yay, 40 years. Let me tell you what he did in 40 years. Didst thou sustain them in the wilderness? Didn't I tell you God is a sustainer? So that they lacked. So that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old and their feet well not. 40 years. God sustained the people for 40 years. And you mean to tell me the last two years God can't take care of you? The devil is a lie. I say my God and your God, he is a sustainer. Woo, Baba, see. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. Hey, 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 hey. He's a sustainer. God wants you to know that he's a sustainer for the believer. Now, if you ain't saved, this don't apply to you. Now, let me say how you can get in on this blessing. Because you could confess your sins and accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Then guess what? You all in. But I come to encourage the people of God. It looked like sickness has rose up. It looked like the enemy has come into the church. Why? Because we have taken down. 
The Bible says he gives them instructions. Some of them instructions we're not following today because of two years. Uh-huh. For 40 years, they followed the year and followed the instructions. Now, since the last two years, look like the instructions ain't working. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Ha. For we know that sin is the wages of death. But I say to you, you don't have to die in sin. You can live to live again. One might ask the question sometimes we get the enemy comes in so and we say, Lord, do you see me? Do you see me, Lord? I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I got the purple blouse on with the blue bottom and the, and the ran over shoes and my hair all over my head. Come on. Psalms, the 33rd chapter, write these down because these are going to encourage you on today in the 18th verse. It says, behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. And I'm going to take the word fear, love him, worship him, adore him, stand in his presence and give homage and praise to God the sustainer, to God on today, to Jehovah Jireh. Ha. Ah. He said, fear him upon them that hope in his mercy. Every day we are to pray God for his mercy. Every day they're renewed, every day. I heard somebody say, they went, it was my best friend, yes it was. And she said, she asked somebody, when the last time you confessed to God? And they said, Two, might have been two or a couple years ago. Hmm. Follow his instructions. Pray without ceasing. David said, create in me a clean heart. And renew. That's why we're going through, because we need to be renewed. Some of us living on 20-year-old stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But every day you need to renew your faith in God by confessing sins of commission, sins of omission, things you think you haven't done, things you say. Say, Lord, just forgive me because I want to see your face. And I want to see you say, well done. Because he talks about another thing he's going to say. Come on, get the Lord a hand, praise. God wants people eyes is in every place and for those who aren't making your way to God he sees you it is time out for saying oh tomorrow I love that song by commission I mean by the um whining tomorrow and then at the end of the song it say won't you give your heart to God today because there is a such thing of hardness of the heart you got to be careful of that thing. You got to watch that thing. Even us as being saved, we have to watch that. Because things can happen in your life and things can expire in your life and your heart will become hard. Follow his instruction. He's a sustainer. He's a sustainer. The word say test us in trial. Sorry about that. Come to make us strong in their ministry. In, and there is a ministry in the storm. Lord, why is the storm touched down over here? Woo, look like I'm in a worry. Just let it happen. And you keep on praying. And you keep on believing God. Why is it happening to me, God? Why it didn't happen over there? You know, I was listening to the news, and I, some of you saw it in Naperville, that, um, that, um, that um, tornado touched down, had went around those houses and tore down that one house and all the other houses. Oh, y'all ain't catching that. Y'all ain't catching that. It went around here. It went around there. God said, uh-uh. It went around there. God said, uh-uh. God went around there and went there and said, well, boom. Hmm. 
He said it'll come now you, but it'll be all around you, but it won't come now you. Because he's a sustainer, saints. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know that my God, and we got to watch out for this counterfeit stuff. Oh, yeah. We're living in the biggest counterfeiting times that I've ever seen in my life. And we as the saints, we ought to be able to discern. In 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, in the 14th and 15th verse, it says, and, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transferred into the angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, that we got ministers, Pastor? You mean to tell me he got ministers? Huh. His ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness. Those ends shall be according to their works. We have to be careful. So many things have come into the body of Christ. The song say it shouldn't be in the church. Because our God is a sustainer. But something happened along the way. God is calling for his people to come to him. It says, ye did run well, but what hindered you? I would not want that to be said in the end of time when I'm standing before him, I am that I am, and he said, what hindered you? And he turned the page back to 19 whatever or 20 whatever. Uh-huh. In Daniel 11, chapter in the 30, 32nd verse, it says, but the people that do their God shall be strong in exploits. We should be doing exploits. Because who do we know? God, the sustainer. It's all right to go through something. I always say, I'm not broke, I'm bent. Because let me, let me give you something with that one. Let me teach you something. This microphone stand is whole. But if I break it, it's no longer good. But if I bend it, I can straighten it back up again. Stop claiming you broke. Just say, I'm a little bent right now. Because after a while, when the eagle fly, I'm going to straighten right back up. Come on, get a Lord a hand clap. My God is a sustainer. You might be going through right now. You might be going through a little something right now. And you might be walking like this. But I tell you, when you get over there, God got a ram in a bush waiting on you. God got some deliverance. He got some money. He got some joy. He got some love. And after a while, you're going to stand up and say, to God be the glory. My God is a sustainer. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. My God is a sustainer. I'm reminded of the story of the three Hebrew boys, and I'm closing. Hallelujah. Just imagine we are in the time of that old king, Nebuchadnezzar. Because we got a king. But, you know, we, got the, we have the powers to be. We're going to call them the king, the president, and all those that's people that's in control. And we are living in a time where wrong is right and right is wrong. And everything is counterfeit. See, the devil can't produce real things because God, he is the real thing. And everything that God has set up, that enemy tries to imitate, therefore it becomes counterfeit. And it don't do the same thing. It don't bring the same joy. It don't bring the same deliverance as the word of God. I'm reminded of these three men. And the reason they came to mind because they were in a far country. And looks like this country has gone too far. 
And this was a country that believed in God. But I tell you, the counterfeiter has got a hold of leadership. But that's all right, because my God, he's a sustainer. And one thing that these three men understood, that their God was able. I say he's able. They knew he was able. Why they knew he was able? Because when they looked back over their life and they thought about what God had done for them back in their hometown, they say the same God moved in. He'll move over here under this unjust king. And that's how we have to be when it comes to serving God. What are you willing to do to make it into heaven? What 